Yeah, so I want to talk about a position sketch. So uh, let's make an assumption that I want to create a sketch um, in this area. Uh, first, I need something to sketch on. So I'm going to put in a normal to curve reference plane to do this, or at least to start this. So I'm in the GSD workbench of Katia. So we'll go to the reference uh, plane definition. I'm going to select normal to curve. So this will create my reference plane perpendicular or normal to the curve I select. I want to go with this top curve. I'm going to put it at the end here at this point. So that's reference plane as it stands is normal to this top curve. So that gives me something to sketch upon. So what I want to do is I want to sketch in this area and making sure I go coincident with this top curve because I'm going to uh, maybe do something like a sweep with reference surface or something of that nature. So if I did a normal sliding sketch, so if I went to Katia's sketching tool, the normal sketching tool, and I select this plane, then I'm, I want, would like to sketch up here, but if you notice the horizontal and vertical axes are pro being projected from the part origin, which is not really what I want at all. Now, what I would like is for this point to be up here at this point. So what I need is a position sketch instead of this sliding sketch. So I'm gonna get out of this and let's talk about the position, position sketch. Um, so go to position sketch tool, start off, select your, your reference plane or planar surface that you would like to sketch upon. So oftentimes I will create it in context here because there is a create plane option if you right click in the box. So that's, I do that quite a bit instead of creating the plane in advance, but I, I do have the plane already sitting here. Now, so there's the plane I'm going to sketch on. Now where do I want my origin to be? So you've got implicit, which of course is implied and that still does, it will project it from the origin as before. You can see it down here, which is not what I'm looking for. And there's some other options such as part origin does the same thing or something very similar. Now I've done some of these other ones before, but almost all the time I fall back on this projection point. And that allows me to pick a point that's going to project to my sketch plane that's going to serve as the origin point for me. And I just happen, due to the, na the nature of my modeling and you know, some foresight, I already have a point sitting here, right? So I can select that point and notice how my uh, reference, my origin, and the horizontal and vertical axes of my sketch move up to that point. And so if I go in forgetting the rest of this for now, but if I go into my sketch right now, it's exactly where I want it to be. So I'm going to get out of this without creating anything. I want to show you a couple of other things related to this. So I'm going to just kind of repeat what I just did there. Select this as my reference plane, do projection point, and select that as my projection point. Now, notice the direction of the horizontal axis and the vertical axis of my sketch. I can swap those if I need to. So I can make this the vertical and this the horizontal by selecting swap. Or I can reverse the directions of each one of these individually if I need to. I actually like it the way it is here. So if I, and I've already, and this is what it was like just a moment ago whenever I entered the sketch. But what if I wanted this horizontal direction to be more intentionally aligned with another feature, such as maybe along the line at the edge of this um, surface. So that's why I have this extra little line here. And this, this line is a, a line from point tangent to a curve. And I have a boundary curve, I believe, sitting here that I made that go tangent to. So that's tangent to this curve, which is on this edge. So what I can do here is I can make that horizontal direction go along this line. So by doing this, or how to do that is I'm going to come down here and there's some other options here. I can go x-axis and so notice that made it go along my x-axis of my current axis system. I can go y-axis so I can flip this around a variety of different ways. But what I'm looking for, components that could be useful, but what I'm looking for here is parallel lines. So I can make that go parallel to that line and then notice the horizontal direction here and of course I can reverse that if I wanted to and I can reverse my V 
and when I get into my sketching environment, it puts me where I want it to be. And so here I can do now whatever I'm trying to do within my sketch. And let's assume that I'm doing a, a sweep with reference surface in this example. So I can come in, draw whatever I need to draw here. Let me just do a, I'll just do a quick profile. I don't do a lot of sketching in GST. I like, I like splines, but there's a nice, um, um, there, you know, for things like this. But you know, I, occasionally I do a pos I do sketches, and when I do, uh, I like to use position sketches instead of sliding sketches. So I'm I'm out here, and so whenever I get out of this, I have my sketch, and I can do whatever I want to do with it now. So I think that's very helpful if you're going to work with sketches that you know how to locate a sketch appropriately, especially the sketch origin. That helps.